Hey guys, welcome back. Austin here with another video, but today we're doing something a little special, something I've wanted to do for weeks. As you can see, we have this huge box here. I actually got this box about a week and a half ago, and it is full of headlights. You know guys, I have a huge problem. I washed this car like two days ago, two days ago, and look at, look at what's going on here. Look at this. What is up with this? See, I don't really have anywhere to cover this car, and it just so happens to be that where I live is extremely dirty, dusty, and windy. So any car you wash around here won't stay clean for more than maybe a day, maybe. But man, that blows. Either way, today we are changing the Celica's headlights, finally. I wanted to do that for a while. I actually got that box of headlights about a week and a half ago, but there was no point in changing them yet because those headlights, even though they have the LED halos in them, still came with the stock halogen bulbs for the high and low beams, kind of like these ones have. So I never understood why they would give you LED halos but the stock halogen bulbs, considering that your high and low beams are going to bleed out the halos anyway when they're turned on for the daytime running lights and whatnot. So I had to wait to get these things. Now, these are the LED conversion bulbs for the Toyota Celica. More specifically, the high beams, which are the 9005 bulb size, and the low beams, which are the H7 bulb size. And for those of you who don't know, the daytime running lights on a Toyota Celica are actually the high beams, but put at half power. So even if I wire these halo headlights to the high beams, the high beams are still going to be running and bleeding out those uh, halos with the halogen bulbs, but not if I get the LED bulbs. The LED bulbs are at least going to be the right color And there's gonna have to be some modification on my part to get them to fit in the housing Because as you're about to see when I take these headlights off They have completely different mounting surfaces and areas than the other ones They still fit into the same brackets, but the actual sizes of them are completely different and I'll show you what I'm talking about <laughs> Alright, so just to give you guys a little taste, those are the stock headlights. Alright, so check it out. Here are the bulbs that we're going to be replacing and putting in this headlight before we even put this headlight on. And I'll show you what the stock bulbs look like. This, the lower dust boot, the one towards the front of the headlight, is actually for the high beams, and this one over here is for the low beams. And the end connectors look like that for the low beams, and then that for the high beams. These are for the LED halos. The black is the ground, the red is the lead wire, and we're going to have to splice those in, I'm assuming, with the uh, one of the lead wires for the high beams because the high beams, like I said at half power, are the daytime running lights. And so those will also power the halos so that the halos and the LEDs can be on uh, during the day or just when running the car in general. And once you open the box for these replacement, the H7 replacement bulbs, you'll notice a pretty big difference. So there's the stock, that little clip assembly, and here is the replacement LED. I got a spider web fly in my mouth right as I got in my car. Nice. Okay, a little problem. So for those of you who don't know, the Spider Auto headlights for Toyota Celica and from what I can tell many other models, do not use the same stock headlight bulbs that go on the original headlight housings like the H7s or the 9005s. No, they don't. They use H1 size bulbs, which notoriously break apparently after a little while. So I will have to send these back and buy the H1 LED bulbs, but for today we're still going to install these. I'm just going to install them with these bulbs and I'll just have to take them out later kind of defeats the purpose of waiting so long, but whatever. I'll just have to install the LED upgraded versions for these bulbs later on in the future. 
and I'll show you guys how to do that as well. But for today, we will at least get these lights in there and try and wire them up the right way. So let me just show you guys what the stock headlights look on the Toyota Celica when I turn the lights on and the daytime running one. High beam. All right guys, I'm not gonna show you how to take the bumper off just because, you know, there are a ton of good tutorials out there on YouTube about how to take a Celica bumper off. I've already got this headlight out sitting right there, but I'll show you how to do this one just so you guys can see how to splice the wires and how to get the halos to work. So, to get this headlight out after you've got this bumper out of here, there's gonna be a few bolts. There's gonna be one down in this hole. You gotta take that one out. There's gonna be one on the side here. That's the reason why you gotta take the bumper off in the first place. And then there's gonna be one up here, right there. And you wanna unclip all these lights as you're taking them out so you don't stretch any of those wires. But let's take that light out real quick and I will show you what to do with the new light. Okay, so we have the new light over here set up and turned around. And you're gonna notice that other than all these stock clips, that you have on there, you have this bundle of wires. Now these wires go to your halos. There's a lead and a ground. And so the first thing we're gonna do is start by stripping off more of this little wire coating there to get more of that exposed wire so that we can splice them together. All right, so once you've cut and exposed more of those wires, what you wanna do is take the similar colors, so the reds with the reds, and just start twisting them together. All right, you can see that they are well spliced together. They're just twisted. We need to get a lot of area on there so we get no problems, no connection issues. But what you're gonna notice when we take this headlight off the car, and this is the, the key to getting the halos to work on the Celica, is that there are these clips over here. This one, the top one, is for the low beams. This one's for the high beams. Now, the running lights on the Celica, the daytime running lights, are the high beams at half power. So if you want your halos to work with uh, the daytime running lights, you need to connect them, the red lead wires, to the hot wire on the high beams, which I believe is this one on the inside. And then the other ones, the black wires, go to this grounding point here. Same thing on the other side. So I will show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so all I did here was take the daytime running light, take a little blade and peel back and cut back some of this uh, heat shielding here for these wires. And then what we're gonna do is take a voltmeter, put the black ground plug on that, that grounding point right there and take the lead and test to see which one of these while the car is running gets 12 volts because that will be the lead wire and that is the wire we want the leads from the headlights to splice into. Okay, so after testing these wires and discovering that the inside one here is actually the lead wire, the, the one that was hot, it was giving me about 13 or 14 volts. What I did is I just peeled back this little heat shielding and I stripped the wire down to the bare wire so that we can splice in the red lead wire for the halos. I'm just gonna wrap that around here and then recover it with electrical tape to get a good connection. And I'm gonna take the ground, the black wire from those halos and put it on this ground right here. All right, you guys, so once you're finished twisting and taping those wires and reconnecting all of these little posts here to the wires, there's for these LED strips on the side. Here's the ground that I put to this ground bolt right there. But once you're done with that, you just seat the headlight back on, put in those three bolts. There's one there, there's one in that little hole right there. And then there's one on the side. But once you've got everything back on, the bumper and all that, it's now time to put down the hood and see what they look like. But actually, you know what, before that, let me give the car a quick wash since you can see just how grossly dusty it is from all those Santa Ana winds that we've had lately. So let me wash it real quick and you, I will show you the finished product.
right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Honestly, today didn't really go exactly the way I wanted. There were a lot of things that uh, kind of were unexpected that I had to deal with and adapt to, kind of like those crazy light bulbs that didn't fit and getting it all set and filmed over here. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the installation of these lights, please let me know and I will let you know uh, how I got them to fit, how I got them to work, uh, even how I filmed the video if you're curious about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try and keep it as comprehensive as possible. It was kind of hard to do so with running around to get the right pieces at auto parts stores and splicing wires together where I didn't think I'd have to. Either way, I think they look good. They work really well. When these bulbs go out, when these little halogens in there go out, I will probably replace them with the H1 LEDs instead because that would be even better to have LEDs with LED lights. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. We're talking suspension and wheels, at least that's the hope. So, see you guys later. One sneak peek. <laughs>